Hello guys. Vanguard reports that Chief Edwin Clark, a well-known South-South figure and the former Federal Commissioner for Information, pushed for the creation of a disciplinary committee at today's People's Democratic Party PDP National Executive Committee NEC meeting. Clark hit at Mwiki, who currently serves as the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory Administration, and said it's yes, yet so Mwiki bidding his time to undermine the PDP and fully aligned with the APC, as suggested by the claim that he supported the defection of 27 River State House of Assembly members to the APC due to the National Secretary's court appearance. The PDP is reportedly divided over this matter. Is yes some wiki only waiting for the appropriate time to destroy the PDP and become a full-fledged member of the APC, he asked. It is alleged that it is the, sh the same barrister wiki who sponsored the 27 members of the River State House of Assembly to defend from the PDP to the APC using the National Secretary of the party who was in court as a reason that the PDP has split. Clegg emphasized that the anti-party activities of the individuals in question, including Wiki, must be addressed. With the fairness, he proposed the creation of a robust disciplinary committee composed of resolute individuals who can resist any financial in sentiment, in sentiment okay, that may be offered to sway their judgment. My sincere advice to the members of the parties, NWC, which is composed of notable politicians, is that they should be courageous enough to set up a disciplinary committee to investigate the anti-party activities, particularly in the role played by some members which led to the failure of the PDP in 2023 elections to dissolve the existing the NEC of the party for their anti-party. Well, uh, it's, it's, so it's sad. Honestly, it's sad that uh, APC is, uh, PDP is uh, wit witnessing this. And this is where, what you get when you have too many masters. You know, and it's still really very surprised now that uh, PDP had not sanctioned Mwike. Mwike is only political, uh, only, only politician in Nigeria who is in two parties. He operates in PDP, he also in uh, APC. You know, he gives decisions in APC, he also uh, makes decisions in uh, a, a, a PDP. So the matter I just get as it be. I've been trying to like wrap out something from my head. What exactly is the problem? Wiki did not even hide it when he said he supported APC in the 2023 presidential election. It's very clear. And now he's is 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 working as, as a minister under APC and he's a, a PDP member. And all these things, they kept quiet. So I don't know if there is any secret between PDP and Mwike that they are trying to cover up. If they punish Mwike, Mwike, you know, we like voices out. You get. Well, like as I said, they should address this issue. Those who need to be punished have to be punished because any anti-party activities in any party is a, is a, is a crime. You've committed a crime in the party and you have to go for it. It's just there. So why they are sparing um, Wike is what I don't understand. If, AP, if PDP did not still watch it, they will still fail again. Because the way it is now, it's like Wike is set to destroy the party. Just like what he said. He's set to destroy the party. If APC uh, is not afraid of Wike you know, in PDP and in APC. So that means there is something all of them are cooking. If PDP, if APC currently is not afraid of Mwike being in PDP and also in APC, 
So that means there is something is cooking in APC because currently that is where he's being paid. He's benefiting from APC right currently now. So if APC is not afraid that Mike might be a problem to them in future, that means there is something they are really cooking up. Even with what is going on in the river states, you should understand that Mike has already taken, is trying to take a step or he has already taken a step to where he is going to. Someone said there that it's true, for your information, Mwike is already a member of APC. I said it. But does not want to make it open because he still wants to be hearing from the camp of PDP and then go and uh, uh, give information to APC. And if there are two people that PDP needs to pull out to order to move forward, they and Mwike and Atiku and permanent... Uh, a candidate they have adopted all this way. When somebody does say to come again, uh, even if the so called PDP was funded by Nwike and all the money the party is using belong to him, is it not the high time they either punish him or push him away or leave the party for him? If he's the owner, let the rest go and form another party. Besides, the name PDP have been messed up by Nwike. So there is no more offense like inter-party activities again. I beg all of you in PDP are the same. All one man using you people, you know, uh, like rags. I have never seen this kind of a thing in Nigeria before. Honestly, Nwike is bigger than PDP. PDP does not want to forgo Nwike's sponsorship yet. They are not comfortable with him. PDP has become a baby party. These are reactions from Nigerians. I beg, how nice am. Make we hear from you. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. I beg, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video. Let it go viral.